Hey and welcome back to another video. So today's video is a bit special as we will be restoring this 2003 Nokia 6800. Now you've seen this phone in a couple of videos that I've done recently, especially this one, the using the Nokia 6800 in 2022 video slash retro style review video. If you already haven't seen it, go check it out. It's a really good video. And I've done a bunch of other videos on this thing as well, basically uh, analyzing the design characteristics and stuff about this phone, which you can find in this video. Video over here the strange phones playlist video uh, so if you haven't already seen those you can go ahead and watch them but uh, here today finally we'll be restoring this phone as it is as you can see in a very bad shape I bought this phone about a year and a half ago for the price on screen here if I do find the original listing I'll put it up on screen but I think it was about $40 or something it came with it, it it came with its box and a couple of accessories the charger and the car charger and stuff like that but as you can see it's in pretty bad shape I do have another one which I used in those videos and that's in excellent condition but this one is uh, badly needing of a restoration now i say restoration and not refurbishment now what's the difference between that refurbishment is replacing parts and restoration is using as many original parts as you can from the original unit uh, rather than replacing them and reworking those parts to make them look as new as possible. For example, let's say you have a, a 1970s uh, Ford Mustang Mark I. You get it and the engine needs work, but it's in pretty bad shape. The, the, the seats are in bad shape. And instead of actually reworking those parts, you throw them away and you replace them. Sure, the car is gonna look better and it's gonna perform better, but it's not gonna be as original as it once was because it's missing the original engine and the original seat. So its value is gonna drop. So that's the difference between refurbishment and restoration. And restoration is making do with what you have and trying to rework the existing parts, make, him, make them look better, make them work again. Refurbishment is replacing the parts, which on the long term is a better idea because it'll look better, but it'll also lose its value. Uh, what we're gonna do today is restore this phone by using all the original parts, all the original parts by reworking them uh, into new condition. Now there's something clearly that cannot be uh, reworked and that's this plastic here that we'll be dealing with in part two of this video because I really haven't figured out how to do, how to redo this. Uh, we may have to replace this, but I could not find any replacement parts online considering how rare this phone is and parts are gonna be even more rare. So uh, that is something I have to look, to, uh, look for into in part two. But as of part one, we'll be working on other components in this phone and cleaning it and all that stuff as well. So let us now jump into restoring this Nokia 6800 here in 2022. So as usual, before jumping right in, don't forget to smash that like button down below as it helps this video get on YouTube's algorithm. And also don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and ring that bell notification button so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Also, don't forget to leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about the Nokia 6800. Do you own one? Did you own one in the past? Do you wanna get your hands on one? Or if you have any questions, just leave them down below. We can start a discussion or I can answer your questions. My social media is linked down in the description below, which includes Instagram, Discord, and Twitter. And now let's jump right into this video. So firstly, of course, we'll be taking this thing apart and I'll be uh, fast forwarding the more less important components, if you may, like just taking it apart and looking at stuff. But the more important components I will be uh, talking about as we go through. And as you can see, the bunch of parts that I got with this thing in the box when I uh, got this phone, that's basically all the components of the swivel mechanism or the, the flip mechanism, sorry. And um, stuff that will actually have to be reworking here. There's nothing else in this bag actually. Okay, so there's broken plastic there as well. So that also we have to look into. These are the uh, screw holes and the spring mechanisms for the flip up mechanism as you can see there. So let's go ahead and take this thing apart entirely and then we'll go from there.
So as you can see, the phone is in multiple pieces. And like I've said earlier, this phone was uh, in my other videos and it works just fine. It's just, it needs uh, work on its body parts, its exte exterior parts. Internally, the boat and everything is just fine. So we'll go ahead and clean out all these parts with rubbing alcohol, because there's a lot of dirt. And then we'll start doing the basic stuff like paste, pasting back cracks together and getting the folding mechanism working. This issue, honestly, I still do not know how I'm gonna fix. I'm going to take this entire plastic piece off and I'm going to do some research into this and see in part two what we can actually do about this plastic crack because I could technically replace this if I did have spare parts, but I don't. Now that's against what I just said uh, regarding uh, restoration versus refurbishment, but in some cases you just can't do anything about it. You have to replace it, but I'll try my best to use this part, but this crack is not going away that easily, but that's, a, that's definitely for part two so uh, we have to look into this in detail in part two but for now we'll be working on everything else in this phone So as you saw there, I took apart the most slimmer keyboard section of the phone and I was initially quite apprehensive to take it apart because I thought this crack here would become worse. But uh, to fix this crack, I actually had to take it apart. So regardless, uh, and when I was taking it apart, this thing actually fell out. Now, what is this? This is actually the magnet that I mentioned in my previous videos that when this phone is turned into landscape mode like this, when the user wants to uh, use it in landscape mode, when he opens the phone like that, and uh, you're using it in landscape mode. And when you close it back, this is what this magnet is what notifies the boat that the phone is back in position so it can go back to portrait mode like that. That magnet lets the main boat know that it's time to go back to uh, portrait mode. So that's also quite interesting there. So let's go ahead and uh, clean the rest of the boat out, uh, the keyboard section boat out, and we'll go from there. Now it's time to go ahead and start pasting cracks. Now I cannot guarantee that these these pasting jobs will be perfect because as you can see, it's not in two pieces yet and I don't want to break it off completely and then repaste it. I'd rather fill the cracks in with glue and what we're going to use is uh, Loctite super glue. Now this is a gel based super glue. It's not the very runny super glue and it takes about 24 hours to properly set but it is actually really strong and it doesn't melt plastic like the normal super glue. It doesn't have that strong uh, acidic sensation to it and stuff. It doesn't me melt plastic that easily uh, or leave burn marks. So that's good because I don't want to be repainting this. So let's go ahead and actually glue this and glue anything else that needs to be done as well and we'll go from there.
So as far as part one goes, this is drying over here and it'll take about 24 hours. And where is that other part? Oh, it's over here. So these are drying over here. They'll take 24 hours. Cause like I said, the Loctite, su the Loctite Super Glue, uh, the gel thingy here, it's not your standard Super Glue. It's your normal Super Glue uh, dries within a few minutes actually. Actually it's five minutes-ish and it's already good to go at least at the 10 minute mark. This takes 24 hours cause this is gel based. It's not as uh, acidic and strong to your nose and your hands as your normal Super Glue, but this takes longer to set and uh, it is much stronger in terms of uh, durability and flexibility because normal super glue cracks very easily. This stuff doesn't crack. This thing has some bend to it. It actually is somewhat rubber based ish. So like they said, gel. So it's not even, I wouldn't call it rubber based, but it does have rubbery properties to it. It does not immediately crack. It does flex a bit. So it's ideal for phone repair and stuff like that. But the downside is it takes um, 24 hours to properly set. Everything else seems clean and good to go. Now all I have to figure out is how am I gonna fix this? This is for part two. We'll figure out a way how to get this back to close to working condition so that I can actually see through it properly, but it's not gonna be ideal. I was just looking at uh, eBay to see if there are any replacement parts, at least getting the whole faceplate and just taking this part out and putting it on this faceplate, but I couldn't find faceplates either. So we have to work with this. So I'll figure this out for part two, but as far as part one goes, everything is good to go. I'll just leave this to a side, let it uh, set overnight, and I will, uh, in the meantime, look into this as well. So as far as part one goes, that was it for this video. Thanks for watching, and if you honestly liked it, don't forget to smash that like button down below as it helps this video get on YouTube's algorithm. And also don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and ring that bell notification button so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Also, don't forget to leave a comment down below or a question down below and we can start a discussion or I can answer your questions. My social media is linked down in the description below, which includes Instagram, Discord and Twitter. Thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video.